Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Mitaiyai, also known as Maisai, these are small grilled sausages made from a mixture of minced beef, pork, and various spices. They are typically served with mustard and bread. Mataiyai, also known as Maisai, are small grilled sausages that are a beloved street food in Moldova. They are a popular dish in the region and can be found at street stalls, barbecue restaurants, and outdoor events. Mataiyai are typically made from a mixture of minced beef and pork, although variations may include lamb or a combination of meats. The meat is seasoned with a blend of spices such as garlic, black pepper, paprika, coriander, and thyme, giving them a flavorful and aromatic profile. To prepare mitaiyai, the seasoned meat mixture is shaped into small sausage-like rolls or patties. They are then grilled over hot charcoal or an open flame until they are cooked through and have a slightly charred exterior. The grilling process gives them a smoky flavor and a crispy crust while keeping them juicy and tender on the inside. Mataiyai are typically served hot and accompanied by traditional condiments such as mustard, bread, and sometimes pickles. They are often enjoyed as a street food snack or as part of a larger meal, such as a barbecue feast or a casual gathering with friends and family. If you have the chance to visit Moldova, trying Mataiyai is a must to experience the delicious flavors of this popular street food. The combination of well-seasoned meat, smoky grill marks, and the unique blend of spices make Mataiyai a delightful treat for meat lovers and a true taste of Moldovan cuisine. Sarnail, cabbage rolls stuffed with a mixture of minced meat, usually pork, and rice. They are often slow-cooked in a tomato-based sauce and served hot. Sarnail, also known as stuffed cabbage rolls, is a traditional dish that is widely enjoyed in Moldova and other countries in the region. It is a popular comfort food and often prepared for special occasions and holidays. Sarmail are made by taking cabbage leaves and filling them with a mixture of ground meat, usually a combination of pork and beef, mixed with rice and various seasonings. The meat filling is typically flavored with ingredients like onions, garlic, herbs, such as parsley and dill, and spices. The cabbage leaves are carefully rolled around the filling, creating neat little parcels. Once the cabbage rolls are prepared, they are typically placed in a pot or baking dish. Layered with sauerkraut, smoked bacon, and sometimes tomatoes or tomato sauce. This combination of flavors adds richness and tanginess to the dish. The sarnail are then cooked slowly, allowing the flavors to melt together and the cabbage to become tender. Sarnail are often served hot, accompanied by sour cream and enjoyed with a side of polenta or crusty bread. They are hearty and flavorful, with the combination of meat, rice, and cabbage creating a satisfying and comforting dish. In Moldova, sarmail are a staple of festive occasions, including weddings, Christmas, and Easter. They are also commonly found in traditional restaurants and can be enjoyed as a special treat throughout the year. If you have the opportunity to try sarmail in Moldova, you'll experience a delicious and cherished dish that reflects the country's culinary heritage and the warmth of its traditional cuisine. Siorba a traditional sour soup made with various ingredients such as vegetables, meat, and herbs. It is known for its tangy and hearty flavors. Siorba is a traditional soup that is highly popular in Moldova and other Eastern European countries. It is known for its tangy and savory flavors, often derived from the use of sour ingredients such as fermented cabbage or sour cream. Siorba can be made with various ingredients, and the most common base is a vegetable or meat broth. The soup is typically flavored with a combination of vegetables, herbs, and spices. Common vegetables used in siorba include potatoes, carrots, onions, bell peppers, and tomatoes. 
The choice of herbs can vary, but dill and parsley are often used. Meat, such as beef, pork, or chicken, can be added for a heartier version of the soup. One of the defining characteristics of siorba is its sourness. This is achieved by adding sour ingredients such as fermented cabbage, sauerkraut, or sour cream. These sour components lend a tangy and slightly acidic flavor to the soup, balancing out the richness of the broth and other ingredients. Siorba is typically served hot and can be enjoyed as a starter or a main course. It is often accompanied by a dollop of sour cream and garnished with fresh herbs. The soup is hearty and comforting, making it a popular choice during colder months or as a comforting meal. In Moldova, siorba is a cherished part of the culinary tradition and can be found in homes, restaurants, and local eateries. It is a flavorful and satisfying dish that showcases the diverse flavors and ingredients of the region. If you have the chance to visit Moldova, trying siorba is a must to experience the rich and tangy flavors of this traditional soup. It offers a delightful combination of savory broth, vegetables, and sour elements that make it a true comfort food and a taste of Moldovan cuisine. Kaltunasai, dumplings filled with ingredients like cheese, potatoes, or meat. They are typically boiled and served with sour cream or butter. Kaltunasai, also known as palmani in some regions, are a type of dumplings that are popular in Moldova and other Eastern European countries. They are similar to pierogi or ravioli and are made with a tender dough that is filled with various ingredients. To make kaltunasai, a simple dough is prepared using flour, water, and sometimes eggs. The dough is rolled out and cut into small circles or squares. The filling is typically made from a combination of ingredients like minced meat, such as pork, beef, or a mixture of both, onions, herbs, and seasonings. Other popular fillings include cheese, potatoes, mushrooms, or a combination of these, once the dough circles or squares are filled with the desired filling. They are folded and sealed, creating small dumplings. The edges are often crimped or pressed together to ensure the filling stays inside during cooking. Kaltunasai are usually boiled in salted water until they float to the surface, indicating they are cooked through. They are then carefully removed from the water and served hot. Traditionally, they are accompanied by sour cream or melted butter and can be garnished with herbs, such as dill or parsley. These dumplings are loved for their comforting and hearty nature. The combination of soft and flavorful filling encased in a delicate dough creates a satisfying bite. Kaltunasai can be served as a main course or as an appetizer, and they are often enjoyed during festive occasions or family gatherings. If you have the opportunity to try kaltunasai in Moldova or elsewhere in Eastern Europe, I highly recommend it. They offer a delicious and comforting culinary experience, showcasing the rich flavors and traditions of the region. Rosii Amplut, stuffed tomatoes filled with a mixture of rice, herbs, and sometimes meat. They are baked until tender and make for a tasty appetizer or Rosii Amplut, also known as stuffed tomatoes, are a popular dish in Moldova and other Mediterranean countries. They are a delightful and vibrant appetizer or side dish that showcases the fresh flavors of tomatoes and a flavorful stuffing. To make rosii amplut, large tomatoes are hollowed out and filled with a mixture of ingredients. The filling typically consists of a combination of breadcrumbs, herbs, such as parsley or basil, garlic, and sometimes diced vegetables like onions or bell peppers. The filling can also include cooked rice, quinoa, or ground meat for added texture and flavor. Once the tomatoes are filled with the stuffing, they are usually baked in the oven until the tomatoes become tender and the filling is nicely brown. This allows the flavors to melt together and creates a delicious combination of sweet and savory tastes. Rosii amplut are often served at room temperature or slightly warm. 
They can be enjoyed as an appetizer, a side dish, or as part of a larger meal. They pair well with a variety of dishes, from grilled meats to vegetarian entrees. This dish is particularly popular during the summer months when tomatoes are in season and at their peak flavor. The bright and juicy tomatoes combined with the flavorful stuffing make rosy eye amplot a refreshing and satisfying option. If you have the opportunity to try rosy eye amplot in Moldova or elsewhere, I highly recommend it. The combination of fresh tomatoes and the savory filling creates a delightful culinary experience that highlights the flavors of the Mediterranean region. Gosling Thin, unleavened bread stuffed with fillings like cheese, spinach, or meat. They are cooked on a griddle and served hot. Gosling is a traditional Turkish street food that has gained popularity in various countries, including Moldova. It is a savory pastry made with thin, unleavened dough and filled with a variety of delicious ingredients. To make gosling, a simple dough is prepared using flour, water, salt, and sometimes oil. The dough is rolled out into thin sheets, similar to a flatbread or tortilla. The sheets are then filled with various fillings, such as cheese, spinach, minced meat, potatoes, or a combination of these ingredients. The filling options can vary based on personal preference and regional variations, once the filling is added, the dough is folded over and sealed, creating a rectangular or triangular shape. The gosling is then cooked on a griddle or a hot plate until the dough turns golden brown and crispy on the outside. It is often brushed with butter or oil during the cooking process to enhance the flavors and texture. Gosling is typically served hot and can be enjoyed on its own or with a side of yogurt or a squeeze of lemon juice. It is commonly sold at street food stalls and markets, where you can watch the gosling being freshly cooked and prepared. The combination of the thin and crispy dough with the flavorful fillings makes gosling a satisfying and portable street food option. Its versatility and delicious taste have made it a popular choice among locals and visitors alike. If you have the opportunity to try gosling in Moldova or elsewhere, I highly recommend it. It offers a delightful combination of textures and flavors, making it a tasty and satisfying street food experience.